I got very into Call of Duty. My friends and I could not stop playing Call of Duty. Well, originally I was playing the gay version, which is Fortnite, and... <laughs> Fortnite is so gay. It's the only game where you're shooting and decorating at the same time. <laughs> you're literally mid-battle. You're like, cease fire! We need a bay window. I'm like, what? <laughs> Call of Duty, they want it to be so real. To the point when you go in the battlefield, your commander yells at you, he's like, all right, everyone, your mission, murder everyone. And I'm so naive, I'm just like, I played Nathan Lane in the birdcage. I'm like, ah! Like, I'm so... <laughs> and this is a feature, I don't even understand how this is legal. This is the everyone's wearing headsets, right? So you can only hear your own teammates. But in Call of Duty, when you kill someone else on another team, you can hear three seconds of their audio. <laughs> so all you hear in the battlefield when you kill someone is like, faggot, faggot. <laughs> I'm so naive, I'm like, how do they know? <laughs> I play with my friend Jacob a lot. Jacob's also gay. And you know, we, we have to give ourselves like pep talks. He's like, we can do this, Mateo. We can play with the straights. <laughs> and we play, we immediately start hiding. Cause you know, gays, we love hiding. And, <laughs> and I'm not making this up. I'm, I, am, I have video proof. I'm literally hiding in a closet. <laughs> in a closet. And here's the thing, it's a very skittish game, right? So like any noise freaks you out, right? So any footstep, any car. So I'm in the closet and I can see Jacob in the corner of my eye. I can see him like frantically looking around. I'm like, Jacob, what is it? Someone coming, what's happening? What's going on? He goes, oh, this wallpaper is so cute. I could live here. <laughs> We died immediately. <laughs> we did. We were, we were... I have video proof. We were both hiding. <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't be laughing at my own joke. Okay, we... <laughs> sorry. We were both hiding in the closet and we can hear footsteps and Jacob's whispering, which he doesn't have to. Like, we have headsets. We don't have to whisper. <laughs> and Jacob's like, I hear them coming. <laughs> open the door, they see two gays crouched in a closet. <laughs> of course, we pick the women characters, right? And they just throw a grenade on us. We died immediately. I screamed like a woman. I was like, oh my God, no! <laughs> Which means that's what they heard. And I, yes. Oh. Oh, I was laughing so hard. You know when you're laughing so hard, it's better than sex. Like, you just can't. <laughs> You're crying, you can't compose yourself. And Jacob's so confused, like, Mateo, why are you laughing at me? I was like, Jacob, no one in the 20 year history of Call of Duty has played this game and been like, oh, we could live here. <laughs> like, never. <laughs> we could use these drapes and turn them into children's play clothes, you know? <laughs> We usually play squads, right? Four people. And if there's only three of us, they, they will just add a random person in, like a real person. But the thing is, the only people that play those games are either straight adult men or 12-year-olds. And straight adult men, this is what I've learned about playing video games with straight adult men, is you guys don't talk. It's weird. I know you're there because I can hear But you say nothing. It'll be like 10 minutes. We're moving, we're shooting, we're killing. I forget. And all of a sudden I hear, got him. That's it. <laughs> but 12 year olds are the worst. 12 year olds, they're just so annoying. They get on, they're like, hi, my mom. You know, and I, I'm so afraid they're gonna hear my gay voice and make fun of me. Oh, the second a 12 year old gets on, they're like, hi. I'm like, hey. <laughs> gay and that the straightest person I can think of is Gaston from Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> it's true, Lebu. But also, it doesn't matter because we're playing, I'm still saying gay shit. Like, if we kill someone, I'll be like, you better work. Like, I'm so... <laughs> I play with a lot of comedians and, uh, you know, comedians, we're like a family. We really, really all function as a family, a big community, and we would play video games with each other. And, and my friend Bobby Kelly, who's a really funny comic, has a seven-year-old son. And he goes, hey, you know, can my son Max play Fortnite with you guys? And we're like, yeah, that's fine, you know? But of course, in my head, I'm like, 
do seven-year-olds even know what being gay is? I'm sure they do today, because I've seen seven-year-olds at the human rights campaign with purple hair being like, my struggle coming out, and like, you piece of shit. <laughs> I mean, I'm proud of them, you know, but I'm also bitter. Part of me wants to grab these kids and be like, you go home and turn off the lights and listen to Madonna and cry like the rest of us, you son of a bitch. <laughs> but, fine. <laughs> so I said, sure, absolutely, Max can play with us. Now, the only thing I knew about Max was that he loves the show Shit's Creek. That is his favorite show. <laughs> Love that show. But you know what's really cute is his dad makes him call it S Creek. I, isn't it cute? I know, it's so cute. So, you know Dan Levy from Schitt's Creek, right? Okay, so as we're playing, I must have said something, and he, like, pauses, and he goes, why do you talk like that guy from S. Creek? <laughs> and I turned to his dad, and I said, I think your son just called me a faggot. I know I say that word a lot. I'm sure it'll get canceled, but I'm just getting called faggot all the time that you have to make it funny. I mean, we all do, don't we? Is anyone still getting called a drive-by faggot here? Yeah. Right? It's, uh, by the way, it's always a day you feel like you look great. <laughs> you leave your house, you're walking around, you got your iced coffee. Faggot. <laughs> One time I was in Ohio. God, Ohio is such an annoying state. I was in Ohio. Oh, the Cheesecake Factory of States. So I... 